welcome to episode number four of the one podcast to eventually rule them all the halloween episode Yay! i am joined as Ooh. always by three of the most scary spooky terrifying disgusting wretched abnormal and most importantly my friends how's everybody doing yeah, how are you I'm so good. You honestly have no idea how good I am. I'm Devin. Uh, you heard from me last week and the week before that. And I just want to suck your blood. Well, technically they didn't hear from you last week. What? <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> intros are not there. I was on the podcast. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong I'm with talking you? About shut the up. Intro, though. Introduce yourself and goddamn fucking shut up. <laughs> Uh, uh, sure. So I'm Cody, also known as the Ginger Beard Man Gamer. You can find me on uh, Twitch and YouTube at Ginger Beard Man Gamer, and Twitter is T Ginger Beard Man. Um, stream. I actually have a schedule now. I stream Tuesdays and Fridays, five thirty p.m. to nine. I've been driven to the brink of insanity by by these. I'm Jacob, but you can call me friendly or Jacob. I don't care what you call me, actually. Uh, I'm a streamer on Twitch. I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays. Uh, it's either 6 or 5, depending on the week. It's on my Twitch, though, if you want to find out. Play some tabletop games on Sunday and then some regular old video games on Tuesday through Thursday. And uh, I am the Beast Snow, and I don't play Dungeons & Dragons. This... Wow, I was really the only one with a Halloween intro. <laughs> I mean, Dungeons and Dragons is kind of Halloweenish. Right? You're right, spooky. Jacob, Cody, Boopy. very sad, very spooky. All right, in this episode, uh, I think we're gonna discuss uh, some scary, spooky, terrifying, disturbing, gory stories. Anything Halloween related, right? Movies. Yeah, maybe talk about some ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, movies, games, anything that's uh, <clears throat> scary or we like. You know, you know, we might even summon a demon and open up a portal to hell. You never know. You never know. You never we're know what you're going to get with one podcast. We're great. living it. It's called 2020. Yeah. Uh, first, um, we, we have a little housekeeping to take care of. Um, let me read the uh, comment that we got on our last episode <laughs> from oh, no. Arsenic Steel 00, who wrote Xbox updated their terms of use for chat last year. <laughs> the internet is free until you join private community and sign away various quote unquote freedoms. Don't talk about rights or freedoms when you don't even understand how they work. And he gave us a link to the article that says Xbox Live has something in place, kind of like the PlayStation. Hi, Cody. I don't know if he's talking to me or you. Uh, he's talking to you, John Go- Jacob, to me? I, believe. To me? I believe so. So to, to that I, I think, say, I what's think. his name, Ars- Arsenic? Arsenic, Arsenic Steel, Steel Double Zero. Zero. Arsenic Steel Double Zero, my friend. My compatriot. My compadre. My amigo, even. That's all right. I don't play Xbox. How would I know that? You know, I don't, one. <laughs> we don't want to be the island of misinformation. So I think what he's trying to tell us is that uh, we're saying that PlayStation um, has, you know, laws now and that you Xbox. can just go over to Xbox and be like, you can do whatever you want. But no, you can do whatever you want. Xbox has has some laws, too. So, yeah, I, I guess they just didn't announce theirs. No, Xbox is the wild, wild west of gaming. But now that we you know, got that, you know what the wild, wild west of gaming is? Well, Discord. Discord, yeah. Oh, my Reddit. Lordy. Yeah, Reddit. That's the I dark barely, web. I have literally have no idea how to use Reddit. If any of the people Same. listening to this today want to set up a Reddit for us, I'll give you a dollar. <clears throat> I don't know if I want a Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that consists of. So Me neither. That's sure. I'd give a dollar. All right. But anyways, well, we, uh, we we enjoy the the comments and the feedback, so you know, keep coming them in, you know, hard and fast. That we like it. <laughs> oh, we really do. No uh, matter how long it doesn't last. Now, uh, now that we got that housekeeping underway, let's get into the Halloween stuff. Are you guys yeah. dressing up for Halloween? I am. What are you well, me, me and Jeannie are. Uh, Jeannie's going to be the best genist, and I think I'm going to be Isaac. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, That's so right? Funny. I don't. Yeah. I, Ch- Jacob, do you even know who that yeah. is? Okay. No, but just the name is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
I I do, and it's very funny. Uh, literally, he's a superhero that his superpower is he can like make thread, but his entire body is jeans. Okay. Yeah, so, I yeah. don't. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know if I'm dressing up, but I have to throw a little party here. So fun, fun. I I, I was gonna be Sasori's Heroku puppet, but uh, <laughs> it just looks more fun. I'm about to be Crow. Then I would have th- been great. I think I'm gonna dress up. Um. At least for the D and D stream, so uh, you can get these little face masks that are like, uh, they're like metallic almost, right? Just a straight metallic face mask, and I can put a hoodie on, and I can be in a crewmate. But I don't know if I want to do that because I don't know if I'll be able to talk through it. So we're gonna—I don't know. I'm gonna go check out some <laughs> Halloween stores this weekend and see if there's anything. That yeah, I that like would to, be to a fun. Welcome to week one. Right. What about you, Snow? You do anything fun for Halloween? Uh, I'm not going to be working that whole week, so yes, I'm going to be having lots of fun. <laughs> so you're going as a soccer player? I'm going as a happy human being that doesn't have to work. <laughs> You've never happy, done that in your life? <laughs> at Redacted Grocery Store. Yes, he has. Every time he doesn't go to work, he's happy. That's fair. Every time he sees Devin, he's happy. That's true. That's also fair. That's our happiness. I heard a little something in my ear that uh cody's got some spooky story to tell us yeah, oh we're starting off with that okay so well. <laughs> uh back when we were all still doing our our wrestling thing i moved out of a house and our buddy josh aka dc doom rhino whatever you know him as moved in there and i would still hang out over there every now and then and we were up playing i don't know what it was probably halo or something um but we were playing and the lights start like flicking a little bit and we're just like yeah whatever that's weird then we heard like a little door shut like all right whatever then all lights start flickering again everything shuts completely off sits there for like a minute comes back on every single clock in the house is at 1 13 a.m and it's like 11 at night so we are like, okay, start checking all the clocks, start looking around everything, and just turn around towards the front door. And I swear to God, there was just this little devil child, little woman that we named Creepy Demon Girl, standing at the front door, and then just disappears. And then all the clocks go back to the actual time. You know, I've been in that house, and I, I never experienced any of that because I wasn't there that much. But that was I, like the only time that we did. I mean, things happen. I've, I think my house now is haunted. Weird shit, like lights and shit are just on and off all the time in here. And actually, the house I used to live in, that Stacy now lives in, I swear to God, that house was haunted. Oh, that house is haunted. Because him and uh, Jama are experiencing the same things that me and Brittany were over there. Like, lights will be, like, turned on. Doors will be opened. Uh, you just hear fucking creepy footsteps at night like the walls it's great it really is he never did anything named him jerry it's all good (laughs) jerry Jerry. my mom used to say that when she'd walk in like sometimes when she'd walk on me there'd be a nurse like a nurse ghost standing over my bed and i'm like you lying that'll make no sense what (laughs) nurse ghost your mom's Uh, just trying to spook you bud well okay so actually hold on here's the thing have you guys ever experienced sleep paralysis oh yeah yeah. i was gonna go to that in my story once a day we can save it for B Snow. Okay. Jacob, have yeah. you and I together ever experienced any ghostly hauntings? Any uh, spooky I stuff? I don't think so. I went ghost hunting with a couple redacteds before though. Yeah, I have too, but I never I also never experienced anything with no, them. No, me neither. So I mean <clears throat> I mean it's spooky, spooky, but I can tell Cody my ghost my I have a couple I wanted to tell. One has to do with like Matt Nix and uh, well, Matt Nix was there, and so were all the Illinois people and stuff. But the one I really want to tell, uh, should I tell it now or should I wait? Go for it. I, I think we're in before shared. You, before you tell your full story, I want to tell the only story I have. Okay. Because it's real small. I, it's not even really a story. I just remember hearing knocking in Stacy's uh, room back way back when. Oh, that house? Yeah. Super haunted. Yeah. There, yeah, like a ghost lived up in his attic. <laughs> Yeah. And his bedroom was basically the attic. Yeah, that show was spooky. You know, if Caleb would have fucking got on the podcast today, he uh him and Olsen used to believe my house on uh 
on Rainbow was haunted. I tried. Yeah, Caleb Apparently soon. Wanna, Caleb doesn't want to hang out with his friends. <laughs> He's, he told me that he has to come on because he needs to defend himself because he <laughs> makes him look like the bad guy. <laughs> I know he is. We don't make him look like anything. He's just doing it to himself. <laughs> I, I said we, we're making you look like the protagonist. It's different. <laughs> well, maybe antagonist, but he's a part of the story, and that's all that matters. Well, I mean, at least the protagonist has a redemption arc at some point. He's Caleb. Yeah, I don't know about Caleb's redemption arc. I love you, Caleb. But... Caleb's redemption arc is just him getting angrier. There is no redemption because <laughs> Devin's grandma cursed him for the rest of his oh, life. True. Oh, true. Maybe that's why yeah. Caleb is the way he is. <laughs> no, he was like that before. It. That's why she cursed him. Caleb used to be a nice, happy man. <laughs> when? When? <laughs> I don't know. A couple years ago, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Snow, do you remember that day? Do you remember that day vividly? Because I do. Was it the same day that the ceiling fell on? I think it was. I mean, uh, I don't know. No, because that day we stayed at Stacy's, and for some reason this time, me, you, and Caleb stayed at my grandma's in her craft room. I and I literally don't remember why, but we did. Well, I remember that. And that yeah. She he just woke up with a little like mummified Caleb sleeping under him, like a hex bag or something. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. Poor Caleb. I love Caleb. Jake, Caleb did you finish Elvis. telling your story? He's great. Guy. Oh yeah, it was, it was just a little spooky that one time. Just the knocking. That's all you got. I left. I left the room. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't stay around to find out. <laughs> Same. Well, well. Speaking of not staying around to find out, <clears throat> me and Stacy went out hunting one night. So she had these dreams of these little people and stuff, and she said they came to her and were like, "Hey, we're the foot soldiers of Satan, and we're puckwudgies." So. And like I she's telling you guys are hunting them, you know that, right? Oh no, not not the one time I'm talking about. Oh really? Because I went yeah. with you a couple times. Yeah, no, we went we went super deep one time, <laughs> and that was enough. So she's telling me and Stacy about this, like just sitting on the couch, just telling us because, like, I guess she sometimes had dreams about shit like that. So I just happened to be like, ma, I'm gonna go home and look this up. So when I got home, I was just hitting Google up, and this was like 2011, maybe. <laughs> Just looking up puck wedgies and finding out that everything, all that shit she said was 100% like accurate. And then I'm like, ah, I'll just see where these fucking things are. Like if there's a, a map of things, because they were supposedly like Native American, uh, <clears throat> not spirits, but they like didn't like Native Americans and shit. They would possess them and stuff. So I look them up and they're like, yeah, they're over in New England mostly. Oh, but they're in one other place in like the world. And would you like to know where that one other place was? I would. It's Mounds Park in Anderson, Indiana, because they're Indian burial grounds there. That's what the internet said. So I was like, well, that is fucking weird. We got to go fucking look. So me and Stacy, we're just hanging out. We're like, when are we going to go hunt these things? Okay. We're like, we're researching them and everything. And then one night and we are, I'm, I'm probably 18. So I'm poor. He's, I don't know. 1920 at this point stacy gets this girl named harmony to come over and take us <laughs> and take us to mounds park okay because we're just fucking we're going into the park and we're hunting firstly to get in the park you gotta like pay or have a membership or some shit so we went in the dead of night like pitch black darkness october probably because it was cold so we go out <clears throat> i don't know if i should tell you like if I should go into like all the shit the puck wedgies do, but like oh, yeah. they poison, they poison darts and shit and like try and throw them at you and like throw rocks and shit. So, you know, we're like, whatever, who cares? We're going to see if these fucking things are around here. So we go hunting. We, we go around where like the, the burial mounds are and we're just searching and there's really nothing there. It's a little spooky because it's the forest, uh, but it's not super foresty yet, but it's just a whole bunch of mounds. So we're just walking around. I'm looking for anything we can see. There's nothing really going on there. So we decide we're going to go back deep into like the pitch dark black darkness and just, just keep going until we can't go anywhere. So I'm not, I, I have no idea how far we get back there. But eventually, like we get so far back that like rocks just get, keep getting thrown at us. And I'm not, I'm not a skeptical person. Like I don't super believe in supernatural stuff right 
but I, I promise you, things were getting thrown at us from like all sides to the point where eventually, <clears throat> like, okay, so Harmony's still there and Stacy's there. Harmony's fucking freaking out. She's losing her mind. And I think Stacy's losing his mind too, but I don't really know. I don't remember that much. All I know is we're getting this shit thrown at us. We start hearing like, uh, like not screams, but it's almost like they're screams and then like rustling and shit. And Harmony and Stacy take off. They just start fucking running. So I start following. Okay. And then we just were fucking skating through the forest in the middle of the night. I catch up to them. I start to pass them. I get right next to Harmony. Harmony does like the most white woman thing in a horror movie ever and like trips over a big ass log and just face plants and stays there. So I say, Stacy, fuck it, leave her. And we just keep going. <laughs> Eventually she gets up and she makes it out too. And uh and then we make it out. Okay. We get in the car and like another car pulls up, like starts driving into the forest as we're trying to get to the car and get out. Like this car doesn't stop or anything. It just drives into the woods. It's a, well, it's a truck. It just drives into the woods. And we fucking just skate out of there. And ever since then, every time we bring up Puck Woods, he's like, that's always the thought I have, getting shit thrown at me in the deep dark woods i know it sounds like there's more to that story but that's really it i mean that's enough for me i love it, <laughs> it yeah it's i mean that's pretty funny no, it's not funny i mean it's funny i'm i'll fight a puck wedge yeah okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I, don't give a fuck. I feel like that's a, a, a creature that does not like travel alone oh no no they live in like packs we're not packs i don't Hordes, villages, I don't know. That's what the internet says. Because I've I've went with you to to mounds before to hunt puck wedgies, but we never did it at night together. Mm. I think you never went at night again after that. I definitely didn't. I don't think I've gone back since then. You definitely go been... back. Since. Well, you, I don't. I feel like you told me that story before, and then we went. I've I've definitely told it. you the story. I'm saying I feel I, like you told me, and then we went together. I don't know. It's possible, but the creepiest... I. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I don't think I've been back since then, but it's possible. <clears throat> the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me, I don't think that what the story I'm about to tell is really a, like a spooky story as far as like supernatural, you know what I mean? But like one time I was, you, you remember Witch's Circle, Devin? Oh, yes, I do. So I went to Witch's Circle with Redacted's. Of course. Uh, well, we all, John we all have. I think Jalen was there. No, John Skipper will bring the devil himself. So Right. So we get there, right? <clears throat> and to paint a picture for Snow and uh Snow and Cody, Witch's Circle is a a graveyard where they buried a bunch of old witches. Like back in the day. And the further back you go, the creepier it gets. There's actually a circle where the like witches still to this day go and like do rituals and shit like that. Sometimes you'll go past like the entrance to it, and there's like dead animals there and shit like that. Um, Still, to this day. Yeah, to this day. To this day. And Fun. The, the the weird part about it is the entrance is right across the street from one lone house. One lone house in the middle of the country, being 15, 16, or 16, 17 year old, 18 year olds that we were, and in some cases, like 27. John Skipper. <laughs> we go there. <laughs> we go there and we're going in there and I'm like having an anxiety attack already because fuck, it's creepy there. You're in a fucking graveyard in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. Right. Yeah. And we go to the circle and then the next thing you hear is uh, like an old man screaming, get out me circle. Oh. <laughs> So we book it, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, we parked across the street from dude's house. So to get out of there, dude had saw us. And he's sitting on the front porch with a fucking shotgun. Waiting for us to come out. We come out, we get in the car, and we leave. I have never went ghost hunting with, after that again, because fuck that. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> trying to get shot by a fucking shotgun. I just, I don't, right? uh, I don't know. I don't care enough to do it anymore. Like, it used to be cool, like, going to Maine. I don't know if you guys knew, but Indiana's apparently super fucking haunted. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but like, my old high school is haunted too. The one in Fort Wayne. It's built I, on a burial ground. Of course it is. What's okay. uh? You need to watch a movie called Section Nine. Session Nine. Session Nine. It's it's about like getting locked in a haunted asylum. It was way better than I thought it'd be. Grave Encounters. That's the movie. Grave not, Encounters was a, an amazing movie. They're stuck in an asylum, like can't get out. It's it's super cool. I'd recommend it for spooky time. Speaking of spooky time, and it's on the same subject, but did you guys ever watch Marble Hornets? No. Really? Oh, well, you strike me as somebody, Cody, who hasn't. Fair. And you hate clowns. Yep. Has nothing to do with clowns, but... Oh. Anyway, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> towards the end of my high school life, 2010, so maybe 2009, between, between 2009... And eleven, maybe two thousand eight. I don't remember. Anyway, started watching Marble Hornets, and this is before I had known and anybody had really known anything about Slenderman. <clears throat> and it was just it was this guy who was like, obviously not real, but was like doctoring footage to make it look like he was recording his like day to day life because something, some weird stuff was going is on. It, is this <clears throat> the dude that had the Wendigo, the the fake Wendigo? Uh, I don't think so. All I know, I've never gone back to the channel, but it was all Slenderman. It was like a long, <clears throat> a long series of videos that would all lead up to Slenderman in the end. And like, right. we're just watching and they're all really, I mean, I don't, I haven't watched them since then, but they were super creepy when I was watching them. And I remember it was like episode five, the camera just pans around like his living room to out his window. And you just see Slenderman's head for a second. And then it fucking I goes away. I remember those videos. Dude. So. What was his name? <clears throat> Marble Hornets. I was about to say it's like something bees. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Marble Hornets was the YouTube channel name. Uh, so that like it really turned a corner for spooky shit for me for a while because I was like, wow, Slenderman's fucking creepy, at least because of these videos. So like me and Matt Nix and I can't really remember who else watched it. Like, not religiously, but we fucking watched it so much to the point where I think it was like, it may have been that Greenfield Super Show where Matt Nix and them, they came to stay at my house. So you may have been there. I'm not sure. But I know Matt Nix was there because me and him were lying in my bed. Okay. <clears throat> and we both woke up a couple different times, two times in the night specifically. Uh, one night we looked out my window. I lived on the second story. We looked out my window and just looked like we both at the same time looked down into this parking lot and it just looked like fucking Slender Man was standing there. So we fucking freak out until like we look back. There's nothing there. We just talk to each other and we're like, fuck it, dude. Let's just go back to bed. So, you know, we go back to sleep after our meltdown for a minute. Then we wake back up and we look over towards my door and my door is black. OK, not black. It's wood. So door to my bedroom is wood. And we look over, and there's just a white shadow in the middle of my door. And then we just fucking, we lose it. Lights have to come on. Everybody has to get up. Because <clears throat> we just saw Slender Man. And since that night, I've had no more run-ins with him. But that was fucking terrifying in the moment. Well, that's uh, good. Just looked it up. Marble Hornets is still available to view on YouTube. All 87 entries. Yeah, I don't, I have not watched 87. There were, like it. I think I I kind of tried to keep going and it fell off for me. But those yeah. first those the first, first like, videos 20. I would recommend at least in my mind <clears throat> in my mind still good. The first like 20 episodes were like wow, this is next level shit especially for YouTube. But the the guy I was talking about I don't I can't remember the name of him for my life. But he um he posted basically the same stuff but with Windigos. I mean, so like, I, I guess it could have been the same guy. I That'd be a good market for him to hit. I just looked at his channel, and it's just the just the. Well, I know that I know the Marble Hornets guy made another channel mm. for more. I want to say Slenderman stuff, but it could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm cool on that. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah! Same. No, you got to watch it in the dark room though. That's, no, you got any <laughs> spooky stories? I'm I'm telling you, episode five. I think that was it. Do I have any sp spooky stories? Yeah. 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 Um, I got a lot to to tell. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're spooky or not. <laughs> well, I want to hear them. All right. So, like, these are mostly dreams that I've been having since I was, like, 
little. Oh, I got one. Go on. So, like, I wake up in the middle of the night when I was probably, like, five or six. And I see this huge wasp. Like, it was the size of half my room. So, imagine that. Okay. And then, ever since then, I've been scared of wasps. Yeah. And then, the same around the same age, I woke up and I saw about three shadowy figures in my room. Uh, oh, kinda I looks, forgot about Kind of look like uh, gangsters, mobsters kind of thing. So that was cool. And then the one dream I had when I was really uh, young, I was upstairs sleeping. And then uh, I come downstairs and I see a portal with a couple witches just standing next to it. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. So that's that's been in my mine ever since like i was five or six so <clears throat> i want to touch on a couple things before you tell any more because they're almost directly related to things that have happened to me okay so <clears throat> one when i was i was little i don't know how old i was but me and my sister we were staying up all night and that was just a plan my mom and dad's bedroom were up was upstairs and we have like a living room a kitchen and a family so you can see through all those rooms we were, I was sitting in the, the family room in the back of the house, and I just look over, and there's a shadow on the wall in the living room. Just a shadow on the wall in the living room. So I, I'm like, hmm, that's weird. I didn't know my shadow could be over there. <laughs> so, I, <clears throat> so I stood back up to try and see if I could, you know, make the shadow be there again. Never there again. I go in there. Nobody's in there. Mom and dad are upstairs asleep. Nothing ever came of it or happened or anything. But, uh. Yeah, you know, just saw a shadow in there. <clears throat> and another one, when I was a kid, I used to always have this dream of a witch flying into my bedroom on her broom and just maniacally flying around in a circle around me. So, and she'd knock me off the bed and just keep flying. Like, I've been having like re reoccurring dreams um, of being in a really tall house or mansion. And I just keep walking up these stairs, going into every room, you know, <clears throat> having fun. And then towards the end of the dream, I'm getting chased by something as I'm like running down the stairs. So I don't know, you know, what that means, but. You guys want to say hi to Gabe? Hi, Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. On, hi, Gabe. Hi, always dies first, Gabe. Gabe. Gabe, Hurry baby. Up. Gabe, you're killing time. Killing time. Time's money. Say something. Hello, people. All right, bye. Hello, man. Gabe. <laughs> that's, that's our Red Bull Gabe. <laughs> that's, our, that's our Red Stallion Gabe. <clears throat> <laughs> Fucking yeah. Hell yeah. Get go energy drink. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if, uh, if that means anything or if I'm just, you know, messed up in the head or something like that, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. See, I wouldn't say it means anything. And then, I don't know, because I'm always in the firm belief that, like, some dreams awkward. mean something. Right, right. I, uh, I don't know. I don't agree with that, but I know many people do. All right, and then my... I went ghost hunting <clears> with <throat> Caleb at the Ohio State Reformatory, <clears throat> mm -hmm. a.k.a. the Shawshank Prison, and the uh, Shawshank Redemption. That didn't see anything. Shawshank. Didn't see anything, but it was awesome to go in there, just ghost hunt, whatever, walk around. But to piggyback off that, um, every year they have like a haunted house type of deal. And then, uh, so one time I was, uh, I was there with my, my dad, my stepmom, and her parents. And we were going through and uh, we apparently got lost. So, and then we ended up in solitary, which we weren't supposed to go in anyways. We were there for like what seemed like an hour. But apparently it was only nice. for five minutes. <laughs> nope, I could never. I am claustrophobic as fuck. And then on my uh, sleep paralysis story, I've only had one. So apparently uh, it only happens when you're sleeping on your back. I don't know if that's true or not. Weird. Anywho, I had one time I had sleep paralysis. Um, I woke up, couldn't move, and I looked over to my left, and I saw what looked like a person sitting on the edge of the bed with a white sheet draped over it. And uh, mm -hmm. that was about the extent of the sleep process for me. <laughs> so and, I, that... and I vowed never again to sleep on my back. 
you got it from you know what that's funny i only get it from sleeping on my back too yeah that's usually but, when it happens <clears throat> i hear like stories like that all the time of people seeing shit and like you know spooky stuff like that literally never i've never seen anything and i used to get it all the time i haven't had it in a long time but it used to happen to me all the time but i never i never saw anything and i always knew i was in the midst of sleep paralysis so i could just like calm my body down and stop trying to wake up until it was ready to wake up but i've i've never never seen anything like that while it was going on see every time that i do it it's like a every time it happens to me all i can remember is just like a almost a damn dementor just floating above me and i can't move can't do anything about it just have to sit there and stare into the face of death so your eyes open yeah mine see yeah, my eyes never open i'm just asleep but awake yeah it's like one of those things where like you you know when you wake up but you're still <clears throat> in a dream or whatever it feels like that but it also feels super real yeah i don't know i uh sometimes like i'd get real angry that i wouldn't come out of it and i so my body i could get myself to shake a little bit okay like, wiggle my arms and legs and then Brittany would be like wake the fuck up stop moving but she'd get me up and then I, I mean, I'd be out of it. Oh, I do have another scary-ish thing. If I would like, if you guys would like to hear it. Of course. Oh, I mean, I, I'm hoping it's the same thing I want to say. It's not scary, but just go ahead. So, uh, me and my then girlfriend, now wife, were taking a little snooze in her bed. I think it was like in the evening or something. <clears throat> so I, we fall asleep. I was apparently I was having a dream where like. Um, the girl from the ring was crawling around her uh, her bed, <laughs> and she, I saw her, and then she finally, at the end of the dream, looked at me and started screaming, and then apparently I woke up screaming. Jesus! But I wasn't screaming because Megan said I wasn't screaming. Oh, that's yep. That's a strange one. Okay, okay. Snow, do you remember when we saw the UFO? Um, we were driving. I don't remember if it was Caleb. I knew it was Caleb or Jacob. One of them were with us. I wasn't there, so it must have been Caleb. Maybe just we we were on the highway. Just a fucking UFO slowly flew over us, like we were in, stuck in traffic too. I think. I'm pretty sure I would remember this, but you know, CD. <laughs> Well, I mean, I it's cried. not a, it's not exactly scary, but do you remember the cow that was just in the middle of the road in the dead uh, of night? Yes, I also remember Caleb driving without his headlights on and with a car that didn't have like lights that were already on, uh, you know? Like you had to it was pitch black unless your headlights were all the way on. Speaking of fucking wild animals in the middle of the road, one time I was driving back to Miraz Devin. This is uh-huh. back this was back when I'd drive home at like two in the morning. Um, so I'm driving back and I get off, I get off on the exit that I normally get off on, which takes a back road to my house. Right. And I'm driving, I'm driving. And then I see a fucking deer bolt out in the middle of the street in front of my car. Dude. So I fucking, I whip my wheel and come back around <laughs> and I hear, I hear a, I hear a <laughs> hit <the> fucking deer, <laughs> hit the deer with my fucking door. <laughs> my back door there's a dent there hey man i fucking i obliterate so that was that was a lot of fun uh overall big win for spooky stories right oh, overall yeah. big win for sleep paralysis <clears throat> you guys Sorry. ever have dreams you guys ever have dreams where you're just driving a car and like the brakes don't work yeah <laughs> uh, similar dreams, ones mine life. Are... <laughs> mine's usually like the whole falling thing oh uh, i don't you know i fall in dreams and i just hit the ground <laughs> like I, I don't wake up. <laughs> that's y'all that's ever had good. a y'all ever had a tire fall off your car in the middle of the road? Nope. Yeah, that happened to me once on my birthday one time. That's good. It was like I... my twenty first birthday, and my fucking back wheel just fell off my car in the middle of the busiest street in my town. <laughs> Is that well, when you were fucking double fisting beers at the <laughs> the the bar? No, I in was the sober. shitter. I was sober. No, that was a different. Oh, dude, that night. <laughs> That night was wild, but no, different. I, 
my first car, the Buick that you most of you have been passengers in, uh, it had a thing where it wouldn't stop accelerating. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. My current car has roll down windows, so <laughs> that's cool. So, so let's make this podcast famous so we can all buy new cars. That way, Cody's car doesn't accelerate on its own. And what do I need? Why do I need a new car? You don't have a window, or you don't have a fucking mirror. But I can have one. I just choose not to. Devin, you don't want a new Accord or a new Civic? No, because mine looks like Snow's. <laughs> well, Snow's gonna get a new one. Yeah, just get matching Accords or Civics that's, or whatever. That's what I already did. Yeah, I remember, I remember you tried to get me to get a matching one with you, and my credit was just like, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My credit was like, you don't even need a down payment. So funny. My credit was like, you don't even need interest. <laughs> cool. I'll fuck myself. <laughs> don't That's... steal my identity. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. I wish, <clears throat> wish I was allowed to have nice things. You Very know. good spooky stories, boys. Yeah. I love a good spooky story. <clears throat> so, Devin, you want to talk about Ghost? I know you're. Uh, I fucking. Yes, I do. Are you guys talking about any games? No. I'm talking about some games. Okay. So, uh, Ghost of Tsushima is uh, a really good game because it sounds <clears throat> a lot like uh, sushi, which I, is my yes. favorite food. So, yeah. Fucking boy. I it's sushi. not. It is not mine, but I can appreciate the art of making sushi. It's very I also appreciate the art of Ghost of Tsushima, which I applied for, I'm assuming, game number two on Sucker Punch. I sent them some, I pulled some shit out of my butthole to send them. Uh, they wanted a writing, <clears throat> a writing sample, which I don't know, it should probably be like four pages long, but I sent them a couple paragraphs. And then, so, you know, when they get back to me, story. I said, right. well, I, the thing is, I wrote that after I'd already applied because I applied when I was at work. Oh, okay. so I got home and was like, I got to work on this actual story. The Ghost of Tsushima update, the DLC came out like the 17th. I've really, I, I haven't been playing it nonstop, but I've been playing it a whole fucking lot. That shit is so fun. So I didn't think, I didn't exactly know what it was when it was coming out. I thought it was going to be a little different than it is, but it's like it's survival missions really. And there's a, there's a story mode you play with another person that is like, five or so chapters each with three parts so it's super fun that's super fun but the survival mode is uh there are three tiers sil or bronze silver and gold and they really get super progressively harder like bronze 15 waves of enemies so that's like uh three boss fights silver is 20 so four and gold is 25 waves, just five waves of boss enemies, you know, in, in increments of five. Uh, and you you get four classes to choose from. You can be Ronin, Hunter, Assassin, or Samurai. I've been running a lot of Assassin because it really plays into my play style that I played, like, the actual game with. Uh, you know, quick assassinations and kills and all that. So I did not expect to like a survival mode as much as I, I do. But like it's it's super addicting for me. I know John, or Jacob doesn't like it. Uh because it's just not you it's not your type. I mean we played it one time, so you didn't like it very much. That's not what I said. Not true. I said and I quote, I don't want to play it on stream because I feel like I will get burnt out on it super quickly. Right, but we haven't because played it since that one day. Because you play when I'm at fucking work. <laughs> okay. You motherfucker. I was playing last night and you weren't at work. You didn't invite me. I don't want to hear that shit. You motherfucker. You saw me on. You were talking to me. I told you I was playing. I thought you didn't want to play. So. Everyone said I didn't want to play. Okay. Same. Well, <laughs> don't, we'll disparage, play. don't disparage my good name like that. Disparage your good name was going to play. You said you'll play the raids. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I've been running assassin, just beating the shit out of people. I finally, last night, I beat the gold uh, survival, and it's super hard, but I played with uh, a samurai due to play a samurai who was fucking amazing he ended up okay so i usually hover in like the 140 to 160 kills get a bunch of stealth kills and stuff uh but i played a game 
There was I was assassin. There was one other assassin. There were two samurais. So I ended the game with like 130 kills, 137 maybe. And this samurai who really fucking led the whole squad through the game had 220 kills and he was down zero time. So once you get like once you get to like wave 10, the the enemies and bosses, they take very little damage and he was just coming through fucking beating the shit out of everybody. It was amazing. It was really I was in awe watching it. I couldn't help but to just fucking like die at his feet and get revived by him. That's how good he was. So anyway, survival mode, super fun. I really recommend it. What I don't think I recommend, because I had a terrible time trying it because it was so hard, was the nightmare mode. So you like, once you get new equipment, you get like equipment drops for every fight, for every five waves of, or yeah, for every five waves of enemies you defeat. When you defeat the boss, you get an item drop when the game ends. So you equip you equip the stuff for a higher key level. Uh, and the key level, the higher it gets, the more you're able to do like in other game modes, like to play the silver uh, survival level, you need like 20 key or something. And then gold, you need 50, I think. So you do that. And then that's how you... You get the items. You can uh, pay like the the currency on the game you get for dismantling weapons and playing the game, like playing survival mode. And you can upgrade things that are rare or higher. And and so eventually you do all that. You get to ninety key. So at ninety key, you can do legendary survival or not legendary nightmare survival. So on nightmare survival, which I only got to play like literally one minute of, it's just a bunch of oni enemies, which are the bosses, like. A whole bunch of them with gigantic health meters that are like 20 feet fucking long and they like take no damage. So I run out. I'm the assassin. I throw a smoke bomb. You guys have played, haven't you? Played any at all? I've seen it. Snow, you played Ghost, didn't you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, I was you can told, throw a smoke bomb. I was told that I need to play it and that's you def- not the end of that. Okay, well, you definitely need to. So you like, throw a smoke bomb down. Cody needs to play The Witcher. Well, yeah. I mean, it's time. It's been we'll, time for seven we'll, years. We'll games, two, games of generations. Anyway, so you throw the smoke bomb down, and when you're in the smoke, uh, you're invisible to the enemy. So you can assassinate, or if they have a lot of health, you can critical strike. So what I had to do, I threw down the smoke bomb. And I started critical striking all these enemies around me. Like, you know, I, sat, I was stabbing them in the throats and shit. They're just not dying. So literally, as soon as I hit this smoke bomb, I stab one dude. And then somehow, the three other people I were playing with just fucking die. So I stab a couple more people. And I'm like, I got to fucking heal one of these people at least. Because once one person fully dies, that's game over. You, you can't have any deaths. So I go heal one. He gets brought up. And he immediately dies again. And so then, like, my least favorite boss in the whole game, he attacks you with crows. Like, Itachi from Naruto. Just nonstop crows. Crows flying at you. So, they're all dead. They die. I revive when he dies again. Whatever. I My smoke mom hasn't regenerated, so I can't throw it down and even run. So, I'm just trying to fucking Dark Souls dodge these crows, which is impossible. They are, like, homing missiles. So I just run away until I die, and like that's as long as it lasted. That shit was so hard. I don't know how anybody can fucking beat it, but I'm sure somebody can. It's just not me, at least not right now. Uh, overall, big win for Ghost of Tsushima. Sucker Punch, you did great, bud. I agree, I and it. I really like and, that they're diving into the uh, the lore <laughs> of the, the samurai with the whole, with like the supernatural lore of the samurai. Yeah, the demons and oni and stuff. Yeah, and then the raids, cool. the the raids come out next week, the thirtieth. Mm-hmm. And uh, the thing about the raids are, it's only a party of four, and it's not like there's no matchmaking, so you have to have four people to play it. Oh, there's no matchmaking? Nope, it has to be four friends. That's why I told you, me, oh. you, Jordy, Derek, we have to like, we yes. have to play. Me, together. you, Jordy, Derek, and then I also have a couple of streamer friends that want to play with you. Just so you know, <clears throat> that sounds good I to me. Told him you were the I'm best ready. Shushima player I've ever met. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate that, and I'm ready to go the fuck in. I'm super yeah, excited. I love this shit. And then the Pokemon DLC came out today. I have to download that after this. Good day. Overall, good day for games. 
Football's on too. Hell yeah. Yeah. So is the su- no, new episode of Supernatural. Can't forget that. God Oof. damn it. Can't forget that. Four more episodes, I think. Four. Five. I am so I, like. I don't want to hear shit. It's hard. It's hard to even talk. Don't say nothing. Talk about because I'll just start crying now. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna cry like I'm on the playground in Pittsburgh in 2011. That's just same. like I said last time. <laughs> I'm on uh, season two. Fuck it. Have you? All right, dude, just skip the fucking episode and move on. <laughs> just pick a different one. It's, it's all, Cody. It's always nighttime by the time I get you, to my God. Cody, you, you are watch a grown man. Uh, I can't look. I don't know. Grown man. You would think so, but everything else says otherwise. Grown man reigning and defending ICW heavyweight mm. champion. Yeah, yeah. You and literally had a watch. little girl haunt your trailer, and you're scared yeah, of a that, fake clown. I I don't know. I, I mostly I think it is. I just I know I'm gonna fall asleep by the time I get to like laying down to go do it. So I just go do it. You say go watch it. Ah, uh, see, I don't know, dude. Right after we get off here, you just need to knock some out. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I got through season two in like a week, or got up to season two in like a week. It only, Cody, it only gets better. It really does only get better. Well, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. Cody just doesn't want to be involved in anything his friends do. That's doesn't not it? true at all. I, it's, look, I don't know. It seems like it's kind of true, bud. No, because I even said that I would play Man of Medan with you, and you haven't said a word. Okay, that's one small drop in a giant bucket. Right. Uh, uh, Witcher 3? Yeah, you won't play Witcher uh, 3. You won't watch Supernatural. I, you won't bring ICW back because you're the champion. <laughs> you you won't play any card game with me. You won't play any video game with me. You won't I watch bought, me stream. You barely you get on here to talk to me. You never you never text me. You don't want to hang out. When was the last time you and me went and got something to eat together? Because I can't think of one time. Uh, you, uh, I mean, actually, what I else do you exact want? Because <laughs> it was one of the ICW shows we went and got Hardee's. Cody just uses me for a fucking body on Among Us. Cody, uh, you're yeah. using Cody. You're using Jake as a platform, and nothing okay. else. You treat him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, look, look. It, all this boils down to is how much we love you mm-hmm. and want you want you to be friends with us. Okay. Right. So, so, be friends with us. Okay. You okay? Our friendship <laughs> is an overall thing for Cody. Overall, big win for Cody. Uh, I guess you need, you need to get on Ghost you of Tsushima guess. tonight. You guess that's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. That's fucking wild, man. All we've ever done is love you, and you guess. <laughs> that's. I mean, it's not true, but all right. I want to I play devil's advocate for one for one second. <laughs> um, advocate Co- for the devil. Go ahead. Cody did invite me to play some Call of Duty with them the other night. Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah, he didn't invite fun. me. <clears throat> I wasn't invited. But he I did, did get off before. You were streaming until nine. He did get off before. I can play Jake. off stream. I can play video games, not stream. And you're just like, no, nah, fuck Jacob. Yeah, no. Snow. You know, Snow said, how long are you playing for? And I said, I'm probably streaming until nine. You're like, oh, all right, cool. I'll just, uh, I was going to stream it, but never mind. Well, if you would have been like, hey, you want to play with me? I would have been like, yes. Why would that not be an option? <laughs> Because I'm not going to invite myself on somebody else to stream. How many times have either of you said, hey, do you want to do something? And I'm just like, fuck off. Uh, play The Witcher 3 with me. That's Okay, first of all, it's not even a co-op game. And if it is, that shows how little I know about it. We can dual stream it together. Yeah, side by and side. How... Well, no, like, okay, so sorry that it would take forever to actually finish. Right, so it's a lot of content for us. Man, you're already spreading yourself thin enough. Oh, my fucking Cody. <laughs> I just want your love. Okay. And you have it. I am literally on this podcast right now. You mentioned the podcast, and I was like, hey, if you need somebody, let me know. That's not what happened. Yeah, what? You're lying. No, that is exactly what happened. What happened was this is what happened, right? This is what happened. Here we go. This is what happened. What had happened was. So Caleb was being all like finicky about starting the podcast. Like we hadn't talked about it in a couple days, right? (laughs) And Uh I'm playing Cold War with Cody. Uh-huh. And I'm like, hey, Cody, me, Devin, and Snow want to start a podcast. Are you interested in joining? Uh-huh. Straight invited what did, him. What did he say? He said, yeah, great. But it's not, it's not the, it's not the, 
I said I want to come on your podcast, and you had to think about it. No, I invited you, motherfucker. <laughs> nope, you took three whole days. You are so full of shit! <laughs> because right, that same day, that same day, I texted them in the snow and said, Hey, I talked to Cody, he's going to be on the podcast with us, since right. Caleb doesn't want to be. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, this is all Caleb's fault. <laughs> Overall, big win for the origin story of this podcast. <laughs> if anybody ever wanted to know, now they know. Overall, big win. Uh, Overall, big win for the people what, listening at home. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, the five other people other than us that <laughs> can't wait to hey, rebrand hey, the. the we're gonna name. get. We're gonna get at least ten streams on Spotify this week. Don't worry. There Don't we go. Them. That's how we. Four of them will be us. <laughs> And one will be Caleb. <laughs> and then he'll tell you guys you did a great job and then immediately be like, yo, Cody, this is all the shit you got wrong. <laughs> Good podcast, guys. Cody, you're me. <laughs> Anything else I you want to talk you about? He <laughs> the things that he loves and Cody, or he criticizes the things he loves. <laughs> Cody. I mean, all right. He's got some gamer goggles, boys. Gamer Jake, goggles. Jakey Poo said he wanted to talk about a game. Yeah, I want to talk about games that scared the shit out of us. Yeah, go ahead. Um, my, the the most recent one is Until Dawn. That's that scary. Game. Love it. Yeah, it was, did. It was just a lot of jump scares for me, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it was it jump is. scares for me too. It wasn't like I was scared to go to bed at night, but it was a lot of jump scares for me as well. Um, the the scariest game I've played lately, or before, like since then, though, is uh, Phasmophobia. Still, still want to play that, but nobody ever invites me to play with it. So you are it, to play with it me whenever you like. It looks terrifying, especially since there's a VR version. Nah. Yeah, pizza plays in the VR version. I'm nope. Like, oh, fuck that. I want. I just. I want to watch you play PT so bad. Oh man. Ugh. I need. Like, about... I need Jake to play PT so bad. <laughs> I'm thinking about because I'm gonna because we're not. I'm not streaming D and D this week since it's a uh, session zero. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking about doing a night like a stream that night. Hey, what I think you should do about that though is record it anyway, mm-hmm. and upload it to YouTube. I might. I mean, yeah. there's just a little cute little content. Yeah, your five hundred thousand subscribers are looking for content. Hell yeah, I need to. I need to jump off your platform. I'm not getting paid yet, so I need. I need at least a boost in something. Um, do you see that I dyed my hair? I did. Looks great. I like it. Very nice. I did. Yeah. I could barely. I could barely tell. <laughs> I could tell more from the picture that I think you posted. Yeah, it's hard to tell on stream. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to, you should have bleached it again. It's the color it's supposed to be. Is it? Yeah. It's not I like, ex- a, it's not like a silver silver. It's more of like a, a I expected like, like metal almost grandma silver. That's what I wanted, but that's not the box my mom got for me. So nice. Damn. Why didn't you ever take you to the salon? Shit, bro, bro, I ain't trying to bro, go. So steel, <laughs> steel, yes. Well, there goes all of our sponsors. <laughs> all right, so um, for me, so good, so good show. for me, it was uh, fear and dead space. That was pretty scary. Oh yeah, dead space. I don't, scary. I can't think of a game that scared me. I think we talked about this already, but I, I don't, I just don't have one really. Uh, so I, mean, I guess maybe Resident Evil Zero when I was when that first came out, uh, I had it on GameCube. It's about as scary as I can get. I don't know though. It's not not very scary to games. I think mine were fear, and then at some points, uh, Halo scared me when they did the whole infected bullshit. Just the just the Halo. Like... Yeah, listen. Halo not... scared you. Oh, only oh, only the. Only the parts where it was all the like the flood shit, just because you'd be walking down like a a bitch ass black hallway, and you just hear this. So the sound <laughs> scares you. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking okay. So I'm terrified of anything with more than four legs, mainly spiders, or more than four appendages, mainly spiders. But yeah, Are you scared of fucking Goro from Mortal Kombat? If it's arms, it doesn't freak me out, but like crabs freak me the fuck out. Crabs. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking crabs. Yeah, dude, I don't know why. Like, if I look at a crab, I'm like, nah, fuck you. I am really learning a lot about you because of this podcast. I am too. 
I don't know how I feel about the things I'm learning, but I am oh, learning. Success. <laughs> success. Overall big win for Devin. <laughs> Overall big win big for Cody. Win for this podcast. Yeah. Fucking scared of crabs. Yeah, this I podcast. can't explain it. I literally don't know. This podcast is the epitome of friendship. And- what about lobsters? Are you scared of lobsters? Yeah. How are you scared of what the fuck is scary about a lobster? Dude, the fucking way they move. It's just why they don't move unless if you're like boiling them. Yeah, they just sit. That sounds even worse. <laughs> Anything with four legs scares you. Is what you say. More than four legs. More than four legs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about a five legged dog? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I don't. I don't know what one looks like. I don't know. I said if it's got arms, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, he's he's scared of crustaceans. Maybe that's it. I do actually. I... What else are you scared of? That's like fish. Fish. shrimp, shrimp, fish. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like Genie makes fun of me all the time because when Meyer used to have the like fucking fish tanks and shit, I couldn't walk past them. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know why. I, I have no idea. Uh, are you scared of? Siamese twins? I've never met one, but no, probably not. Oh my god. And yes, that's still a probably. That picture fucked me up. Uh, Are you scared of kangaroos? Nah. Why would you be scared of a kangaroo? No, it has two legs. Uh, I guess it has five appendages. Does the tail count? Tail has to count. Tail's an appendage. I don't know. So cats scare you too? No, I see. I think it's just the like the skittery things, skittery, like crabs and spiders and you know things that move weird. I ain't never heard of somebody being scared of a fucking crab or a lobster. Yeah, My well, mind. a lobster's really what got me. <laughs> Shrimp <laughs> and fish. It's not so much that I'm afraid of lobsters. It's just like I don't. When I look you're, at it, it's like, why do you exist? You're terrified of seafood. Pro- yeah, kind of. I mean, I don't eat it. I like get it. it. Hold on, I'm gonna look up a lobster real quick. <laughs> he he doesn't know what a lobster looks like. He has to check. He eats seafood because he he feels like he has power over it. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I don't like that. Nope. Have you ever ate one? Uh, no, I have had crab before though. You like crab? Imitation or real crab? Fine. It it was at a Chinese restaurant, so I don't know. It's probably imitation. <laughs> well, was it a giant crab leg or was it yeah. just a fucking cheese stick looking? No, it was it was a crab leg because um, Yeti's parents had me. Yeti, there. that's probably a real crab then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know, man. That shit's why. They're fucking antennas too. Nah, nope. Done. Nope. Lobsters are peaceful creatures. Uh huh. Peaceful, immortal creatures. That's why they have to be banded. They don't die. From old age. They don't oh, get sick. That makes it worse. They don't get sick. They're just, they're killed by people and predators. They just live forever. Hey, really? Yes. yes <laughs> like, anything in the ocean scares me too. Just like, I don't know, the way shit moves, it's, if it's unnatural, I just don't like it. Like You're going to be afraid of backwash? <laughs> no, because he's Franklin. Fucking also, only two legs. Snow said you're scared of dolphins. Not afraid of dolphins. Dolphins are fine. Like, okay, so the big ones are fine. Like, dolphins, sharks, whales, whatever. That's fine. It's the little, like, jellyfishes and angle, anglerfishes and what octopus and shit like that. What about the uh, indestructible diabolical beetle? I don't know what it is, got, but I hate it. That First off. That just got, uh, not, or like, that got fucking discovered recently? New one? What the fuck are you talking about? I thought well, this podcast has turned into what's Cody afraid of? There's a beetle that like spooky you can't kill. Uh, you can't well, even... you can't you can't crush the indestructible diabolical beetle. Mm-hmm. It's uncrushable. Ah, it's I guess you probably cut it in half or something. But Cody's scared of it. Probably. It's got horns. Are you afraid of Mega Kabuterimon? No, for whatever reason, that one's fine. What about normal commentary? I think it's because it's. I just know that it's like a cartoon, so who cares? Uh, I get it. 
Okay. Like, I'm not afraid of Mr. Krabs or any shit like that. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, thank fucking God. Or like, you know, anything on SpongeBob. I'm just talking like like actual creatures. You afraid of octopus? Yes. Squids? And squids. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't like know. Fish? Yep. Like, right. with, with, with the squids and the octopus shit, I just imagine them fucking, like, strangling you and you can't do shit about it or like covering up your mouth and just fucking suffocating you to well, death. When are you ever going to be in that position? I don't know. There are stories of like octopus that just walk into the zoos and do shit in the middle of the night. What? What? Yeah, literally. Look it up. Yeah, Cody, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Look it up. There's like a story of like Oct- a zookeeper or whatever that like... Uh, octopus just taking over the zoo. <laughs> not taking it over. Me. But, like, it's, it's some story that somebody was, like, octopus are, like, way more intelligent than we give them credit for. Because this one, like, got out of its tank and threw a rotten fish back at the zookeeper or whatever. Well, they are really intelligent, fucking... but... Like... Yeah, they're smart, but, like, they're not going to take over the zoo. I don't know. This you know isn't... what I bet Cody's fucking terrified of? The, the, the idea of hmm. mind flayers. <laughs> yeah, he is. So... I mean, like, I, I watched Pirates of the Caribbean. And... <laughs> oh, go <I> on. <laughs> yeah, and like, is, I, I don't know where this is going, but I, well, like, like it. I feel like Davy Jones is a mind flayer. I mean, he has a, he has a, he has the he has face. A and yeah. it doesn't really creep me out, but it's more just like off putting. How does that not creep you out? He makes that <laughs> noise. <laughs> he does, but I think it's just because that one is like so far out there that it's like, ah, that shit ain't real. What? what the fuck? <laughs> right. Dude, look, the brain's a powerful thing. I never try and understand it. It's no, it's useless. I'm with you. It's fine. Also, claustrophobic as fuck. So, you know. Overall, big win for seafood. Nope. <laughs> Terrifying. Well, <laughs> that's all I got today. <laughs> we didn't even talk about, like, one game. Yeah, we, we did. about Ghost of Tsushima. We talked. We talked about you know the the, the Halloween Ghost- scary uh, stuff. It's Halloween, yeah. Spooky. Yeah. Ooh, didn't talk about any movies though. Does Brittany have any uh any Lord of the Rings facts for us? I am. I honestly forgot to think of a question. You guys have one. one. I'm gonna look one up. Frodo tells Mary that he needs to get to Bree, so Mary tells him to board what? What is the ferry the hobbits use to escape the Black Riders? What is the ferry the hobbits use to escape the Black Riders? Yes. She said that shit quick, so it has to be right. What'd you say? Oh, we need her, her to come say, over it. Here and say it. So, ask her the question. What is the name of the ferry the hobbits use to escape the Black Riders? Buckleberry Ferry. Yep. What movies are scary? What movies are scary? I can't think of a, I can't think of a scary movie with lobsters in it right now. Sorry. <clears throat> the right. The right? You know, Brit- back, back when I was said a the child, is scary. Back when I was a child, uh Ghost Ship and Thirteen Ghosts were scary. Fucking Ghost Bro, Ship? Ghosts was I could see Ghost Ship. Hey, I, isn't that the know. one that the in the beginning everybody gets decapitated? But like well, now, yeah, they get all now when I'm actually shit. older and like realize it's like it's meh. Yeah. I, I I will I'll concede to Thirteen Ghosts. That movie scared the shit out of me. I'm like my fourteenth birthday. It was a good Ghost movie, ship. though. Ghost ship, though. I didn't expect that. I don't know how it holds up now, but... Yeah. Uh, Darkness Falls kind of creeped me out, but that was a good movie. One one of the Exorcism movies scared me. And I... I think it, I think it was the Exorcism of Emily Rose. And it only scared me for oh, one yeah. reason. When all the demons started talking inside her. Yeah. I, like, I was like, oh my god. That shit's yep, scary. When she started speaking like, fucking different languages and oh. shit. I said, wow, seven voices inside you? And it sounds like it. I gotta go. Yeah, that's, so that's about it. The right, I wouldn't. I don't know if it was scary, but it's one of my... One of the scary movies that movies still sticks like out in my more. head from when I was younger is uh, uh, Little Blair Witch Project. See, yeah, you know what? I, uh, I, I thought the Blair Witch Project was scary. But that movie was ruined. Like, I watched it as a child, okay? A young person. Mm-hmm. 
And that was really ruined for me when I watched the second Blair Witch Project. Yeah, the second Blair Witch <laughs> Project was good, but the first one was scary. It, when I was it, the, I, the second one was just... Like, it was making fun of the first one, is what it yeah, seemed like. It, it wasn't good. That shit was... Oh, my God. Uh, one for me is Jeepers Creepers, but... I also had to walk <laughs> next to a cornfield for about a half a mile to get to my bus stop. I had a cornfield in my backyard once, so I can understand that. Yeah, like every time I heard a rustle, I was like, yep, this is how it ends. <laughs> but he only comes out, what, every... Seven years or some shit? Seven, 15 years or whatever. Something like that. I haven't seen Jeepers Creepers. I just in years. Same. I have watched it one time, and I was like, I, nope, not doing that anymore. Not where I live. You know what movie used to scare me that shouldn't have scared me? Hmm. Fucking Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. I could see it, like being a kid thinking you're just gonna go to the ch- like factory and get dead. Yeah, like, Willy Wonka's just a kid toucher, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, he is. What about Get Out? Oh yeah, Get Out. That, was, was... that movie wasn't so scary for me, and more, uh, more just like a thriller, I guess. Yeah. It was fantastic. Oh, it was a, it was a thriller, definitely. There were definitely times where I'm just like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. I watched Demon House not too long ago. That was probably the last scary movie I watched ish. The most recent ones for me and Jeannie were uh, Hereditary and Midsommar. Hereditary? Did we watch Hereditary? I think I vaguely remember Hereditary. They're they're both by the same people. They were good movies. Uh, Like, not so much predictable, but like when it started getting to the end, you can kind of start connecting the oh. dots. But the hereditary movie has like towards the end, I'm not going to ruin anything, but some of the like some of the effects that they have for it just kind of ruin the whole experience. Uh, have you guys seen the Poughkeepsie tapes? No, I don't want to. Okay, so you know what, what it is, is? sort of. Yeah, okay, so it's about this this guy who is a serial killer. And he, like, films himself, like, going out and catching people and then, like, taking them back to his basement or wherever he keeps them and, like, torturing them and shit. So, like, the whole movie is just, like, home footage of him, like, carrying his camera, you know, shooting, killing people and, you know, torturing people and stuff. And eventually, like, they find... It's on Netflix, Hulu. What are you watching on? Uh, I think I got it on Amazon. I think we rented it on Amazon. Gotcha. Uh. But it's I think it's on Prime now for free. If yeah, I mean if you have Prime, it's free. Okay, cool. So, I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I wasn't scared by it, but it's like it's super creepy. Right. So like the cop, the cops find all these tape, like he he taped it and he kept all the tapes and and stuff. So the cops find it and they're just like they watch it and they're trying to find him and they're just super freaked out about, you know, what they see. I don't no, want to I don't want to say too much because I want you guys to watch it. This what? is like. It's not like real tapes, right? Oh no, they're not. They're not real tapes. It's it's all fake. But like, yeah. it's made. It's made. Yeah, it's a mockumentary. Like, it's made for you to believe that it's real. Okay, so, and like the best, the best part is like the the scene after the credits. Like, I don't. You guys just have to watch. I'll watch it tonight, Cody. Don't worry about Supernatural. Okay. What about uh, VHS? You guys, watch that. I've seen that before. Uh, I don't remember it being. Brittany has seen that, but I don't think I have. I've always heard about it, but it just seemed dumb. What about what? Have you guys seen what we do in the shadows? Mm-mm. No. Oh, uh, well, you should. <laughs> it's a vampire mockumentary. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, cool. I reckon. I'm not, I reckon. I'm not a vampire of Mark, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's hilarious. Have any of you seen Yellow Brick Road? Nope. No, but I fucking hate The Wizard of Oz, so I'm never going to watch it. Well, I mean, it's not Wizard of Oz. It's just like a... It's like a legend story that if you follow this trail, like you eventually die no matter what. But the weird thing about it is is it's a terrible movie. But for whatever reason, like me and Jeannie will watch it and then we hate it. It's not a good movie. But then like a month later, I'm like... Man, Yellow Brick Road was a cool movie. I kind of want to watch that again. <laughs> I don't know. Something about it just sticks with me. Like, it, it's not. I think it's more like the acting of it makes it not such a good movie, but the concept of it is really cool. I mean, it, it kind of has nothing to do with The Wizard of Oz. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it just makes me think of The Wizard of Oz, and I just don't like The Wizard of Oz. 
That's fair. I definitely watched it thinking that it was going to be like a horror version of Wizard of Oz, but I liked Wicked a whole lot. <laughs> it's a whole different movie. It is. <laughs> it's fine. If you guys watch Trick or Treat, I no, know, but went to the went to the Halloween store and he was everywhere. Yeah. Dude, oh shit! Hey, awesome. What? God damn it! What's that movie with that clown? With Art it. the Clown. No, not it, you bastard. Cody, have you seen it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I guess I have the internet right in front of me. House yeah, of you a Thousand do. Corpses. House of a uh, Brittany. Both Love of those Thousand were Corpses. some really... Like, I like Rob Zombie movies. His Halloween movies were fantastic. Yeah, like, people yeah. give them shit, and I don't understand why. Brittany wanted About to watch what? The Rob Zombie movies. Oh, they're, I like them. I mean, House of Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects were fucked up, but... I know, they were great. Yeah. I like nice. Devil's Rejects a lot. Uh, okay, so that movie with Art the Clown is Terrifier. Gotta, you need to watch that. I I'm, I'm going to tell you... Listen, no, you need to. I'm going to tell you why you need to watch it. Just one scene. So, all right, one scene, he has this lady captured, okay, and she's upside down in some warehouse or something. Doesn't matter where she is, but she's upside down, like, you know, spread out arms and legs. He takes a fucking hatchet or something, or maybe it was a chainsaw. I don't remember what he takes. And he just cuts her from her vagina <laughs> straight down. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Come on. He's not even a clown. <laughs> you literally said his name is Art the Clown. That doesn't mean he's a clown. That's just his last name, the clown. Well, I, I doubt it. He's a fake clown anyway, so you're good. Devin, I have the internet. I can literally find out. Okay, what's what's that going to do? Still going to tell me no. <laughs> it's not going to tell you anything. Except to watch it. No. no. All right, so big win for this Halloween episode, everybody. <laughs> I mean, big win for Halloween. Yes. I, I happy hope. Halloween, my friends. Yes, happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween to everybody who celebrates that thing. So, devil um, worshippers, you can catch me. God the bless Twitter. the devil. God damn. You can catch me on the Twitter, the YouTube, and maybe the Twitch at the B Snow. <laughs> God bless decided. the devil. Yeah. Mm. We appreciate all your views and listens. Yes, we do. We love you. That you, for some reason, give us. <laughs> All right. See you later. You can find me at twitter.com slash sexywb or twitch.com slash friendlyplaysx. I stream <laughs> Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever else I want. Doing an outro. D&D stream on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching this fucking train wreck. <laughs> you can catch me on Twitch at friendlyplaysx. Tuesday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sunday between 5 and 6 and on for tabletop games. You can find me on Twitter at Friendly Plays, YouTube at Friendly Plays. I appreciate y'all. Have a fantastic holiday, and we will see you next week. You can find me at uh, the Ginger Beard Man Gamer on Twitch and YouTube, and T Ginger Beard Man on Twitter. Uh, thanks for giving us your time and, you know, hopefully we can continue to entertain you all. Absolutely. Happy, De Happy Devil's Day. <laughs> Happy Devil's Day. Hail Satan! No. Hail Satan! Devin. <laughs> Fucking, I feel so sorry for Brad. Alright, bye! What? Why bye. can't we let Hope on? Bye! Have a beautiful time! <laughs>